It looks like Alvaro Morato is going to become Manchester United's new striker this summer, but we've been asked by you guys and girls to do a full story video on the Morata transfer. How has it developed over time? Because it is a little bit complicated. Some places saying one thing, some places saying another. So here is the full story of Morata's potential move to Manchester United and how it has developed. Now it all started back in January 2016 when Tuto Sport, Italian newspaper, they linked Morata with a move to Manchester United. The following month in February, Marca in Spain followed it up and said that Jose Mourinho was interested in Morata. Now of course, this is before Mourinho was officially announced as a Manchester United manager. But these are where the rumours really started. And obviously, after that point, Morata went back to Real Madrid, won the league, won the Champions League, and then we find ourselves in a situation we're at today. But it all started back in 2016. Then fast forward to the 24th of April 2017 when Spanish outlet Cadena Ser said that Jose Mourinho had contacted Alvaro Morata over a potential move to Manchester United. Now, this concept of Mourinho contacting Morata directly, this crops up a couple of times. And of course, they had a relationship together because when he was Real Madrid manager, Morata was there. So they have a direct relationship and maybe that is why Mourinho is doing that. But it's certainly not the only time that we've heard that Mourinho has contacted Morata directly. Then on the 13th of May 2017, Manchester Evening News reported that Manchester United made an initial approach for Morata, citing sources close to the player. So as you can see, the story is now starting to develop. Then on the 31st of May 2016, our favourite Gianluca Di Marzio, he is saying that Alvaro Morata was a higher priority than Antoine Griezmann and that Kylian Mbappe was also on his list of potential signings. Now, obviously, since then, Antoine Griezmann has pledged his loyalty to Atletico Madrid. They've had a transfer ban. He signed a new contract. Griezmann's not happening. But back in May, the real suggestion was that Morata was the priority the whole time. Whether that is the truth or not remains to be seen. But Dimarzio is certainly indicating that that was a situation. Then on the 3rd of June, Gillian Ballbag, he said that Manchester United had inquired about Alvaro Morata and that Mourinho would love to have him at Manchester United. And fans were starting to get, starting to talk, you know, Morata at United, could this really happen? Two days later, The Telegraph's Jason Burt, a very reputable journalist, I remember him breaking the one matter to Manchester United story. He says that Alvaro Morata is Jose Mourinho's top target to replace Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, obviously, since then, Ibrahimovic has been released by the club. But up until that point, you know, he was injured. He was always going to be out until around about January time. So United needed a new striker. And Jason is saying that Morata is that number one target for Mourinho. Then on the 7th of June, this is when the story really started to accelerate. Sky Sports reported that Real Madrid had turned down a £52.4 million bid for Morata from Manchester United. And this is the point where the story really starts to develop very, very quickly. Because almost straight away after, there was a report in The Guardian from Ed Ahrens and Fabrizio Romano, who of course is on Gianluca Di Marzio's writing staff. They're saying that Man United are going to increase their bid to £60 million. And the interesting part about the article here is that they said that Man United were willing to pay more of that £60 million up front to Real Madrid. That means paying them this summer instead of dragging the payment out over four or five years to look better on the balance books. If Real Madrid get more money this summer, they have more money to then spend on other players like Kylian Mbappe, who they have been linked with with a 135 million euro bid. So it's definitely more in Real Madrid's interest that they get more money this summer and Man United look to take that advantage by offering it. Then Morata himself got tongues wagging when he said that he wanted to still be teammates with James Rodriguez next year. Now, of course, Rodriguez has also been heavily linked with a move to Old Trafford. So could Morata and Rodriguez both be playing in the red of Manchester United next year? That's what got tongues wagging. That's what got people excited. And everybody started talking. Now, on the 8th of June, Alvaro Morata's agent said that a decision will be made in the next few days as to what Morata's future would be. Since then... There hasn't been an official confirmation from United or Real Madrid over what Morata was doing, but there has been a suggestion that Morata has agreed personal terms with Manchester United. And that came the very next day when The Telegraph's Matt Law reported that Alvaro Morata had agreed in principle to join Manchester United. This is a major, major part of the whole Morata transfer story because this is the point 
where the reports came out that said that he had agreed to join Man United. And if that is the case, then it's just up to Real Madrid and Manchester United to agree on a fee for Morata, and then the transfer can go through. Then on the 12th of June, Marca in Spain once again report that Mourinho has contacted Morata directly to try and convince him to join Manchester United. So as I said, this happened previously and it's now come back again. So maybe there is truth to these rumours and that Mourinho is contacting Morata directly to help convince him that Old Trafford is the place to be next year. And then on the 12th of June, there was another major development when Alvaro Morata's agent confirmed that there was a bid, an important bid, from Manchester United for Morata. And the AC Milan's approach for Morata fell down at the wayside because their offer was too low. This is what he had to say. He said, Manchester United is a great club, a very interesting option. I can say that this is a very important proposal and now the decision is Real Madrid's. Yes, Milan did feel Morata was a good signing. There had been frequent contacts with us until a few days ago. I can confirm that. Real Madrid simply found that their bid was unsatisfactory. So there you have it. His agent has confirmed that the bid is in. All the speculation had been correct. Man United had bid for Alvaro Morata, but would Real Madrid accept it? On the 13th of June, Spanish outlet Cadena Ser said that Morata was increasingly close to a move to Manchester United. Now at this point, it may all be just paper guff, just jumping on the bandwagon of the story. But all the developments are pointing in the right direction of Morata finally moving to United. And as I said, it started to move at a fast pace for a few days and then it slowed down a little bit. I said slow down, but at the same time, there's stories coming out of everywhere. You've got the independent Miguel Delaney reporting that Man United are hopeful of having a medical for Morata before the end of the week. Could that really be happening? We've already signed Lindelof. Could Morata come over the line too? Then the following day, Morata's agent, Juan Malopez, he was spotted at the Santiago Bernabeu meeting Real Madrid, no doubt talking about Alvaro Morata and his future at the club. He's meeting the club. What's he bringing to them? A new offer on the table saying that Morata has decided that he does want to join Manchester United. Something had to be discussed. And then another report from Spain, this time from Spanish outlet Cope. They are saying that there is a total agreement between Morata and Manchester United for him to move to Old Trafford. So personal terms, etc, etc. And it's just down to Real Madrid and Man United to agree on that fee. And this was backed up by Fabrizio Romano, DiMarzio's member of staff. He said the exact same thing at the exact same time. So it really does sound like Morata has decided that he wants to join Manchester United. That he has, in principle, agreed personal terms with the club. And that at this point, it's just down to Man United and Real Madrid to negotiate that fee. An original bid of 52.4 million was rejected. That was increased to 60 million. But it sounds like Real Madrid won upwards of 70 million. What will the price be? I think it feels like a case of, of when and not if that agreement now comes in place, especially if Morata has decided that he wants to leave Real Madrid. So that's the full story to date about Morata's move to Manchester United. As you can see, started back in 2016, but since April 2017, it's really sort of accelerated into the past couple of weeks where it's all exploded after Antoine Griezmann and that transfer ban at Atletico Madrid. But how confident are you feeling that Alvaro Morata will call Old Trafford home next season? Would you be happy with him as our new number nine? Do you think he is the man that can score 20 plus goals in the league? and help us challenge for that title. Let me know in the comments what you think about this Morata deal. And as always, please drop a like on these videos if you want to see more of them. And if there's any other full stories you want us to take a look at, let us know in the comments below. So as always, drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Until next time, see you soon.